Thank you. Today I want to talk about some of the markers for chronic Lyme disease. We're using the definition for chronic Lyme disease as Lyme disease that persists for more than a year after a tick bite and antibiotic treatment. Now I realize that there's many different definitions for chronic Lyme, but we wanted to make it simple and has, have this as a basic definition when we go through our patient database. Now on this slide, I'd like you to look at the bottom first, because I'm not going to talk about CD57, because Dr. Ginger Savely has a presentation tomorrow, and she will cover the role of CD57 in chronic Lyme. We're primarily interested in antibodies. And certain antibodies have dating factors. 31, 34, and 83, 93 usually take about a year to develop. Sometimes with 31 and 34, it may be many years after infection before you see it. Now this is a study that was done because of this, the new and greatest test that's supposed to be coming, the C6. We decided to take a look at how does the C6 work in this population. So we had a group of PCR positive samples that fit into the category of chronic Lyme, tested with our Western blot, in this group, there were 43 positive IgMs. The C6 test picked up less than 10% of the group of samples that we're looking at. We're known for our Western blot. We have a very sensitive and specific Western blot. And part of the reason it's developed with two different Borrelia strains, 297 and B31. From our experience, this Western blot is just as efficient in Connecticut, California, Europe, throughout the Americas, even in Australia. In fact, before we were even hygienics, when we were still part of 3M, we did a fishing expedition in Australia and found many patients that were positive, but the government wasn't interested at that time in going any further. Characteristics of a usable Western blot. We use a low passage B31 and 297.